I said something very hurtful to my father. I said, well, I'm the one making all the money. He said, Kiki Palmer just revealed something in this interview, hiding in plain sight, that is really important for young people, particularly in the black community. Let's talk about it. For those of you that don't know, my name is TJ. I'm mixed Nigerian and British, and I moved from the UK to Uganda, Africa to start a new life with my partner, Medina. Now this journey has been the most challenging thing I've ever done in my life, but it's been massively rewarding. So I decided to put my experiences, my ideas, my thoughts on this channel, and maybe you might just want to tag along. Now being out here in Uganda, I'm separated from my family that's back in the UK. There's nothing like a bit of separation to remind you just how much of an important support unit a family really is. Now Kiki is a successful actress, she's a child actor, and we all know that Hollywood child actors don't always grow up to be well-adjusted, well-balanced human beings. In this particular part of the Club Shay Shay interview, she talks about family. Let's check it out. Yeah, I was traumatized, straight up, um, because it was just like nothing felt real anymore. And I didn't know how to say no a lot of the times because everybody wanted something from me. And, and there's like this, there, there's this validation that they're looking for me to approve of them or they're expecting this from me, whether it be fans or even friends, even family. I didn't want to let anybody down because now they're putting me up on this hill and I don't even see myself there, but anything I do or say can hurt their feelings. So now I don't know how to have boundaries for myself. And then I'm a kid, so I got to stay at a child's place. And it was just really a lot for me to manage. And then I'm making all this money and you know, so many people are trying to take me from my parents. And I know that sounds so crazy, but it's true. You know, you have all these people that are making money off of you and they're telling you, you know, what's best for you and that your parents don't know. And I remember feeling really burdened by that because I love my parents. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just felt like, well, damn, am I in trouble? You know, I'm not, what's going to happen to my career? It was just so stressful for me as a kid. I was really under a lot of stress. You mentioned that there there. are People coming in trying to say, well, you know, oh, I can take you so much further than what your parents take it. Yes. Did you ever think that, damn, are my parents really holding me back? Could I be bigger than what I actually am now? I didn't know why I needed to be bigger, I guess. Okay. I'm just thinking to myself, what, what's, what am I missing? I was happy. My family, we came to California for me to pursue my dreams. I got my own show. Right. So everything is going according to my Honey, my parents, at their best, made $40,000 a year growing up. Right. A year. Yeah. I was making that a show. Whoa, go ahead on that. So I was like, this is unbelievable. We're happy. We didn't come into this for money. We came into this for love and look at what we've been blessed with. So when they were doing that, it just was confusing to me. And you hold your father in such high regards. Larry? I remember in that time period that I was telling you about when the people were trying to take me from my family. I'm talking about all the money I made. I said something very hurtful to my father. I said, well, I'm the one making all the money. He said, very calmly, there's a lot more that goes into leading a family than making some money. He didn't scream at me. He didn't berate me. He just said that and walked off. Larry has taught me everything that it means to be of service. What is sacrifice and reward? What is kindness and strength under pressure? And yes, that is everything I expect a man to be. Now, I believe she got emotional there because she understood that at a time when she was immature, she may have hurt her father, the one that had given all this sacrifice so that she could be in the position that she is in today. And no one would want to inflict hurt on someone that has done so much for them. You see, she's not only in position because of the sacrifice, but because of the example set. She now as an adult reflects and knows. This is what it looks like when there's a man in the home 
this is the kind of man that I need for my life. Of all the things spoken about in this interview, this is the thing that the black community needs to focus on. Now, she's a mother and she may not be in a relationship with the father of her child, but she's not totally destroyed like some of these Hollywood kid actors become. You can hear the way she talks. She's got a North Star. She's well put together. She's well adjusted. She understands business. Nobody's perfect, but I was really impressed with how she comes across in this interview. And this just highlights further just how much families need to stick together. I think of this from my position growing up with my father. He's like, that's what it is to be a father. That's what it is to be mature and regulate your emotions and understand the level that your child is in and you stick with them and as they develop and you live by example so that when it's their turn, they can do better. You got a book, Master of Me, The Secret to Controlling Your Narrative. The book comes out November 19th, 2024. What can people expect? Are we gonna get a different side of Kiki? What are we going to get from this book? Yeah, I mean, well, it depends on how much you're into my work. If you're super into it, then you're gonna feel like this is the Kiki you know that's continuing to evolve and develop um, and grow as a young woman. If you don't know me, then you're gonna get a lot of interesting things that you aren't privy to. But I'll be honest, this isn't, I'm not, you know, I don't believe in sipping tea that's bitter. I'm not a bitter person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'll share information if I feel that it's going to be useful for the next person. But ultimately, this is a book about self-mastery, mm -hmm. about being able to show up for yourself in a better way that allows you to live in this world where we really can't control much, where things are going to go away that you didn't expect them to, that you can do everything that you thought in your mind was correct and things still may crumble. How do you survive from that? And then the other side of it, it's also about entrepreneurialism. It's about diversifying, right? A lot of people talk about me with Kiki Keep a Bag Palmer. Okay, well, this book is about how I was able to do that, how I'm able to work in corporate and as an independent contractor and what the steps I took to get there. Um, and knowing that, again, I'm not trying to change a system that's been around hundreds of years before me, no matter how, how flawed we all know it to be. There can be some changes, but I'm not going to allow myself to be distracted around with that. Like Toni Morrison said, who I can't remember her exact quote, but sometimes racism and all this stuff, it can be a distraction to what you're really trying to do. Instead, I'm going to focus my attention on who I am and mastering myself and showing up in the best way that I can for me so that I am not trapped in the same wheel that keeps on turning. Now, you might not think it's connected, but that foundation that she had has allowed her to come to start writing a book about mastering yourself. And she's not a victim. She said racism can be a distraction. So many people tell me about the limitations of, of my circumstance. If you go to Africa, there's limitations. There's going to be this, there's going to be that. There's a racism, there's this, there's that. So what? That's what life is. If it's not one obstacle, it's another. If it's not one system of oppression, it's another. There is no utopia out here. And she's saying that these things can be a distraction to your purpose. That is how I know her father did a good job. I put out a video about breaking glass ceilings. You can go and check in the comments that there was a significant amount of people that were negative. They want to stay in their oppression. They want that glass ceiling to be the reason why they're not achieving rather than looking themselves in the mirror and asking why they're not getting the results they want. The black family is one of the most destroyed institutions in the world. And it's coming to Africa. I'm seeing it starting here. If you want your children to grow up and be well adjusted, we've got to stick together, do our best. I benefited from that and Kiki has benefited from that. Unfortunately, her last relationship didn't work out. Nobody's perfect, but I've got a feeling she'll be just fine. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.